there are two young fellows here who were chosen to represent the trucks for the future. About a month ago or so, I saw signs around town that said, name the new garbage trucks. And I thought of my son, Nathan, who's four, and he loves all trucks. So I said, hey, Nathan, do you want to name the new garbage trucks? There's two of them. It's the first time we've ever named any equipment, and we've had a whole lot of fun doing it. We've been overwhelmed by how many people in Nanaimo got behind this initiative. We received one, more than 1,500 names into our, into our first round of competition. I said, what do you want to name garbage truck number one? And he says, Nathan, his own name. Um, and I said, sure. And I typed it in the entry form. And then I said, what do you want to name garbage truck number two? And he goes, Mommy. And I'm so proud today that we've been able to ha welcome our winners to the yard, along with our CAO, Tracy Samra, and Mayor McKay to do the unveiling. We've had a whole lot of fun. Does your mom do all the garbage in the house? No. Does she do all the recycling? No. Does she make you pick up your toys? Yeah. Oh. <laughs> he loves his mom and he loves trucks and what could be cooler than naming a truck after his mom. Uh, although I never thought that uh, a garbage truck would be my namesake and my contribution to the city of Nanaimo. <laughs> Today is really about public works and engineering and the work that John Elliott and Charlotte Davis have done and all of the staff that work with them. We should be very, very proud of their efforts. This thing is crazy innovative, something that is so great to celebrate. Number one, they burn a far less expensive fuel. The fuel costs for these trucks will be about 40% less than the conventional diesel. They burn much cleaner, about 25% less harmful emissions from these trucks. They will run a lot quieter, and they will be more reliable than, the, than what they replace. Uh, very proud of that. The other thing is that there's half as many trucks going to be on the road now. There will only be one truck pulling up to your driveway on recycling day and that will take both your organics and recycling. It's all about achieving our, our, our zero waste uh, uh, initiatives and try to get to our 90% diversion rate over the next 10 years or so. We ended up going to the Dinosaur Museum, Tyrell, in just south of Calgary uh, this summer and uh, we were talking about dinosaurs after that and started coming up with a family, a few different dinosaur names and Trashosaurus Rex was Hudson's favourite by far and he was running around saying it so we figured that would be a fun one to enter in. And I mean, who doesn't love garbage trucks, dinosaurs, it's kind of a two-year-old's dream come true. <laughs> we appreciate the city of Nanaimo and we appreciate the people who work every day to, to take away our garbage and our recycling and keep the city clean and functioning.